I bet we have sound now. The question is, is it uh, echoey or anything? Any sound now? Let me know. Excellent. Now I'm going to try to shut down some of these programs uh, and tell you what's going on. By the way, thank you all that uh, have shown up. I really, really appreciate you showing up tonight. Uh, I know other streams are going on, and although this normally is the time that I do it, uh, well, I mean, I'm about an hour late, but uh, I'm not going to get into it. Just thank you all for um, for showing up tonight. We're going to talk about how to get a scholarship to summer seminar. Man, I'm going to get rid of some stuff real quick. Make this a little bit easier. I've got so many instances of Google running. It's crazy. And I've tried deleting most of them, too. Uh, but, yeah. So what's everyone up to tonight, real quick? There we go. Welcome to the room, everyone that is here. Thank you so much for joining. I'm going to try to... I'm going to hope that the stream gets better. In fact, I may just refresh here real quick. Let me refresh. Oh, paranormal, that's cool. Now let me let this. What does it look like on y'all's end? Is it really laggy on y'all's end? And Cab 7 is awesome. He is a very, very good guy. Okay, well, as long as it looks good for you, that should work. Oh, I know part of it. What's in that? All these little uh, little things that take up so much of the uh, of the uh, processes. It's crazy, uh, but I think I've got about as much taken care of as I can. Uh, so. Hopefully it'll get better here in a minute. Uh, oh, Greyhound? Oh, yeah. Well, long story short on that is the stuff in the article happened, and then there was worse stuff, that, um, worse and more stuff that happened. And uh, right now I'm trying to find an attorney. I really need an attorney right now because I can't go after it myself. They're not, you know, they're not going to listen to me. So, uh, if you know anybody, there's potential for them to make a lot of money, I have a feeling. So, um, but yeah, back to positive stuff. <laughs> Summer seminar. Well, first off, there's the American 
Numismatic Association. And they are the, it's the leading coin club in the United States. It's the top dog. I'm in Arkansas. And the a and has all sorts of programs for collectors. And um, they have coins for A's. They, they really have a lot of programs for children. Because children are the future of the hobby. That said, they also do have some limited uh, things for adults. And there's not as much. In fact, this year there were 15 adult scholarships to the ANA, uh, ANA summer seminar given out. Ten were partial scholarships. That was one that I got. And five were full scholarships. As opposed to about probably 30 or 35. Oh, Randy, I'm not letting it go. It was, it was discrimination. I'm not letting federal laws be broken. But anyway. Um, so... Yeah, um, so with well, A, you if you join, you get um, a magazine once a month. Now you can do online edition or the hard copy edition. I mean, it was paper, so soft cover edition, but physical a physical copy, and that comes out once a month and. Uh, you can actually, with certain um, deals, send coins in to get graded by yourself, which is kind of a cool perk. But Summer Seminar is the big one. And Summer Seminar is, you can go one of two weeks, pardon me, or you can go two of two weeks. And what it is, they have instructors, uh, I did. You're right, paranormal. Instructors from all these different expertise area, with all those expertise in different areas come and they teach about their area of expertise. You literally go to class from 9 to about uh, noon and then from noon to about 1.30 you get a break and then from 1.30 to four o'clock, you're back in class. And that's like five different, that's like five days in a row, four or five, five, I think. And at night they have bull sessions and mini seminars. And those uh, are basically miniature classes. Uh, I taught a bull session this last summer seminar that I just got back from. And it was cherry picking varieties for fun and profit. So that was fun. And there is a cost associated with this. It's about, I think, $1,100 for one week. But again, the, the people that are teaching them are the people that you read about. Uh, Mike Ellis taught grading, and he was a professional grader. And he was the editor of Cherry Picker's Guide. James Wilds, who runs Variety Vista, which a lot of us, do go to is uh, he teaches the modern mini process and how errors and varieties occur and that's a lot of fun that's the class I took I took it it was the very first summer seminar class I took I took that in 2000 and I took it again this year so um, it's a lot of fun now when you go if you get a full scholarship Everything is paid, period. Your flight, your, your room, your board, all that stuff is paid. The class, all of it. You can get partial scholarships, and that will pay a certain amount, depending, and it'll tell you what it covers. And then you'll have a remaining balance that you've got to come up with. And generally, your flight, although not necessarily, it depends on whatever. And I did, I usually ride the Greyhound bus because. It's so much cheaper. Uh, we know why, but 
anyway, that's that's why I ride the Greyhound bus if I don't get a full scholarship. I used to get several scholarships. I got scholarships from 2000 to 2004 inclusive as a young numismatist. And then once, you, and actually the, the age then I think was you were a YN up to 22. And now it's, I think, 18, which is really what it should be. But, you know. So, uh, what you do is there is a form that you print out online. Well, first, you got to be a member of the ANA. That's the first thing. You know, it, it's a good cause. And, guys, I'm going to be giving away an ANA membership, at least one, here in hopefully a week or so. So that would be really cool. I'm, I'm, if you're going to, you have to be here to, to win. Um, so if you're interested in getting a membership, I'm giving one away very soon. Uh, I, I, hopefully in the next week. It may be the week after. It depends on, uh, I've got a connection at the NA that, that gave, approved it. And she said, I'm just going to give you this paperwork. So, um That'll be cool. So they fly you out there, and you get three meals a day. It's college campus, Colorado uh, College in Colorado Springs. The ANA headquarters is right down the road. I mean, literally a couple of blocks. I can wheel there on my own. And uh, they have a book sale. The book sale is really cool. You, uh, the library just slashes prices on stuff. In fact, I got a book that I'm trying to figure out what it is. It's called Numisma, and it's uh, a very, very rare book from what I understand. It's a signed, uh, excuse me, hand-numbered, uh, number one of 100 copies. It's number one. And so I'm going to check into that. So you can find some really cool stuff. And um, so... When you when you get an application, you're gonna print it out. You ask for your name and all that. It's gonna ask you what you have done essentially for the hobby, what exhibits you've done, what talks you've given, what clubs you're a part of, and that's gonna be part of their point system. And uh, you're also gonna have to write an essay. They have several different ones. Uh, well, three. We've got three questions, and you pick one. I have chosen different ones at different times. Uh, one of them is what is what is what is one of your hobbies or passions outside of numismatics. I did that one this year, and I talked about how I do magic for kids and and adults, and uh, I really love it because it's uh, creating the impossible uh, essentially. So. That's a lot of fun uh, for me. And then there was name an obstacle you had to overcome, I think, was one of them. And there was one more. And I can't remember if they're the same every year or if they change them up. But so you're graded on a point system. The more you do, the more points you get. And that helps you get a scholarship. Very important. Now, the thing is, what do you? How do you? How do you get this stuff to put on your resume? Well, is anyone here a member of a, a local coin club? Wow. Sorry, I was looking at something else. Um, if you join a coin club, that helps. If you're a board of, uh, if you're a member of the board of one of those clubs, that helps. In this case, I'm on the board of governors of Koneka, and um, a part of the ANA. And also, if you're in a, if you're in an area 
of uh, the country where the ANA needs representative, uh, representatives. The representatives, what it is, is our job is to be a basically go go between between the ANA and the clubs in our town or I mean in our uh, in our state or in our area. Like Florida, for instance, has I think six district representatives or so. <coughs> it's not more. Well, I'm the only district representative for Arkansas, so it's going to depend on your state. And you can have more than one district representative per state. And uh, let's see. So joining a club and being representatives is a good way to, to boost that resume. Writing articles. You know, I never thought that I, as a non-expert at the time, or, or non-intermediate, because I'm really an intermediate, but when I was a kid, I never thought that I could write articles, which you can. You can get published in certainly Aeroscope if you're a coin collector. I mean, an Aero coin, a variety collector. And you can get published in Numismatist. The Numismatist is, of course, the ANA's magazine. Uh, I got my first article published there when I was 16 or 17. I want to say 17, probably. And it was uh, it was great. I just wrote about my experiences. You know, it was uh, this is all the great stuff that's happened with me because of the hobby. You can also, <laughs> and I found out this uh, by accident. You can also write letters. Uh, well, yes, commentaries really. That's what you need to write. Um, and what that is, I read, for instance, a letter in Coin World. In 2004 or so, and it was uh, very much an aggressive, mean letter talking about how horrible the hobby was, how greedy it was. And the guy said he was going to quit, and I got mad because as a lion, and I was at that time, I was treated so wonderfully, and I saw only only the good side of the hobby, really. So I wrote a very long and um, powerful letter to the editor of Coin World, responding to his letter. And then I got an email from Coin World. I said, David, that's a great letter. Um, problem is we can't publish it with that link. They said, it's too short to be a guest commentary and way too long to be a letter. They said, well, you can cut it down or we can, uh, you can expand on that and we can turn it into a guest commentary if we, you know, think you've done a pretty good job. And I did. I expanded on it and got published in Coin World. Uh, I wish I had that copy. I lost the copy. Um, it was really cool. So that's another way to get published, you know. Writing for your club publications, that helps too. Exhibiting. I would love to exhibit at some of the national shows. Uh, the problem is getting all my junk there to exhibit. Plus, I've never exhibited before at one of the national shows. That said, you got to begin somewhere. Now, if you don't want to exhibit at a national show, what you can do is ask your local library. If they have a case or two that you could use to exhibit. I've done that three or four times in my local library over the years. Uh, exhibiting all kinds of different things uh, with coins. So uh, exhibiting is a great way to get scholarships too. They, you know, anything basically... What I would think that they're looking for, just from what I've seen, is how are you contributing to the hobby? Because if you're contributing, they're going to see you as deserving of scholarships. You know, it's like, you help us, we'll help you. Kind of, It's kind of a, a partnership. Uh, well, it's, it's community. It's exactly what it is. It's a community. So that's one of the, the things I love about it.
so you have exhibits. Um, and we said uh, the articles, presentations. Now this is more like a formal talk, or it can be casual, but it's you pick a topic and you about something about coins. It can be anything, and then you speak about it to some group. Now, I have not done a, a lot of talks until very recently when I decided I wanted to talk about cherry picking varieties for fun and profit. Because yeah, I just thought that was a really good topic. And it's what I'm passionate about. So, what I did was, uh, I'd gotten a message. Uh, it, was a thing, it was a standard thing from uh, the ANA that said, Do you have a proposal for a Money Talks presentation? Money Talks presentations are presentations that they show at the two national ANA shows. And uh, so, it's, like I said, Sam Gilbert, who. I introduced on one of my other videos sent me in uh, uh, the proposal form and I filled it out and he said you know we have not had cherry picking as a topic so I'd like you to do that yeah and long story short I've uh, spoken at I think it's three of the a a shows two or three Plus two of the A and A uh, summer seminar bull sessions. So that's another great way to build up your resume. Because that's all it is. It's all about building that resume and showing that you really do care about the community. And like I said, if, if it's good to you, I mean, if you're if you're good to it, it'll be good to you. Uh, there are so many wonderful people in the hobby, and then there's some nasty ones, but you know, that's with any hobby, of course. Um, any questions so far? I know we've only got one person in the room right now. We started out with like seven, and then people left. But does anyone have a question? See, even if no one watches now, they can always watch the live stream later. Rewatch re it. Any questions? Okay. Hello, welcome to the room. So, are there any questions on that? How to get to summer seminar on scholarship? You can do it. It it can be done. It's harder for adults, but I've got like I said, I've gotten one in the last two years, so it can be done. And uh, hey, Tim, how are you doing? I was letting everybody know. Uh, well, I mean, obviously, I'm talking about summer seminar. And I was talking about how you got to be a member of the ANA. In the next week or maybe two, I can't remember. Well, it, it depends on when I get my form. I'm going to be giving away an ANA membership. I talked to one of my contacts over there, and they've agreed to give me one for free. I told them what I was going to do. So, that said, you got to be there. Now, I'm going to give people plenty of notice. I'm going to give people plenty of notice if they want to, want to do that, but yeah, uh, I'll put up like a video saying when I'm going to do it. But yeah, giveaway for an a, a scholarship. Also, on uh, another note, if you do not have Cherry Picker's Guide 6th Edition Volume 1, which is the latest, I'm going to be giving one away. I uh, talked to Mike. He's got one that he's autographed and I'm getting. So if you want either an a, &A membership or... A Chaperker's Guide, Sixth Edition, Volume One, which is the latest, signed by uh, Mike Ellis. Then uh, start coming or show up to the stream, and I will announce when that's going to be. 
Like it's probably, I don't think it's going to be this week, but it may be next week. I mean, it won't be this month, this coming Monday, for a week from now. It'll probably be two weeks from now. But I'll let you know anyway. So, but the A&A Summer Seminar Scholarships, like I said, they've got tons for, for lions, and that's what they're supposed to be there for, really. But they do have a few for adults. Again, they gave away 15 this year, 10 partial, and 5 full. And I got one of the 10 partials. And that's just because I haven't built up my resume as much as I should have in the last few years. I have, and that's one of the reasons I got as generous a partial scholarship as I did. It wasn't like uh, one set amount that everybody got on a partial scholarship. They add up points, you know, in each category of your application. And uh, I, I don't know when they post applications. Uh, we'll have to find that out. Summer Seminar is always in Colorado Springs, where the essentially where the ANA headquarters is. It's it's literally a couple of blocks. You stay on Colorado College campus, and the the, the scenery is amazing. You do have to be careful. You're in the mountains, and it's very easy to get lightheaded and. Uh, so they always constantly remind you to drink a lot of water. And uh, they've been doing seminar for 50 years. This was the 50th anniversary. And I was so glad to be a part of it. So, and really, I would say, you know, there are, like I said, there are certain things you need to do to get summer seminar. But really, it's, all, it's really about following your passion and your dreams. I mean, you're going to be doing stuff anyway. You know, you're going to be involved uh, and doing things. You just need to remember what they are. You need to write it down, just like you would for a resume. That's really all you're doing is you're saying, this is what I've contributed. This is why I deserve a scholarship. And, you know, they, they will give several away. It probably will be harder at first. You may not get your first one out, but if you show your interest and if you continue to do things for the hobby, you will likely get some kind of scholarship. It may be partial. You know, you may have to fly out there, or you may have to, pardon me, you may have to pay for the class itself. There may be, there may be a couple of aspects that they don't pay for, but uh, it works. I've been having, sorry, I've been having some indigestion stuff. So, is there, are there any questions so far about the a and or uh, Summer Seminar? What to do to get there? I've kind of covered a lot of it already. Be active in clubs. Write articles for magazines. Exhibit. Give, give presentations. All that stuff counts, and every little bit counts. If you do, a, you know, I did a uh, about a forty-five minute presentation for the Scouts, uh, Boy uh, Cub Scouts, uh, a couple of months ago. Well, that counts. I need to, you know, put that down. And if there is, you can go to money.org. I hope I can do this without messing things up. If you go to money.org, you can look at your, you can go to discover and then club directory and it'll list all the clubs in your area. And you can also find out who the district representative is of those clubs. And like I said, you can become one too if you have if you so desire. You know, just because a state has one. Hey DMV three sixty, um Uh, 
I have, no, I will have, I've got Fletcher Cartridge on the way. I owe you, uh, oh, sorry, y'all, let me do this real quick. I owe you, I've got it written down somewhere, what I owe you in your items. Um, I can either refund your money or I can ship them to you. Uh, the cartridge is supposed to arrive between the 6th and the 11th. Uh, should be should be a lot closer to the 6th, but I don't know about, you know, it's Amazon, so. But let me know, because I, I want to get everybody squared away. I pretty much have at this point. We're getting close. We're getting very, very, very close to getting everybody squared away. And I have learned my lessons. So... By the way, y'all, uh, if anybody's listening, I do have, will have, some more coins for sale. Uh, I'm thinking about doing an auction. After, I mean, this is going to be after everybody's squared away and everything's sent off. But I'm going to be doing an auction. And uh, I was going to tell you what all I have and see if you're interested. I was actually going to see if anybody wanted a... Uh, uh, a full list of the stuff that I've got for sale, but I'll go over it just real quickly. Okay, well, I will do that absolutely as soon as I get that cartridge in. Um, so here's what I've got. I've got, this is what I'm going to auction off. A 19, uh, excuse me, a 99% off-center wheat. You can see just barely the, one of the little uh, wheat, wheat uh, things to know it's a uh, wheat stalks to know that it's a uh, off center wheat. I have a 2000 off center that also has a clash. It's a quote unquote prisoner scent. 2001 off center and a prisoner scent. I'm going to have two wheat clips and a 1964 really, really, really nice clip. I'm going to have a 1999 Dime Roosevelt double clip, a 1970D Roosevelt triple clip, an unplated, get this, unplated Zinc planchet, you know, the scent planchets, one of those. A Jefferson blank, remember, a blank is without the rim, planchets with the rim. Blanks are actually harder to find. And what else do I have? I just lost my list. Uh, a couple more clips from Je uh, Jefferson clips. A Jefferson double strike. That's I, I'm really excited to get that one. And finally, a Washington quarter clip. So that's what I have right now uh, that I'm going to be auctioning off at some point. Some pretty nice coins. Um, I, I've, I'm trying to get a little bit better quality items. So, what do y'all think? Does that appeal to anybody? And what I may do is sell them outright, but I'm I'm not, not gonna again. The auction is not gonna occur until I get everybody everybody squared away. I want to make sure everybody gets their items before I do something. Uh, before I sell again, because. You know, I just, I need to, need to get that taken care of. So, uh, what else is going on? Anyone have any questions about Summer Seminar? A fly just tried to fly in my ear.
some of our, or how to get there. Oh, one of the really cool things when you take James Wiles' class is you get to go to the uh, Moonlight Mint at uh, Denver, and it's run by Daniel Carr, who um, designs some of the state quarters and designs fantasy coins. Like a uh, 1907 Lincoln cent, and they're generally struck on real coins. He's altered the the he's gotten a die and he's altered it, and then it's uh, struck on a real coin. It's just a, like like a strike over. Really, what it is. So those are really cool. It was great, a great tour. He shows you up close and personal how the mini process uh, works, and it essentially that shows you how errors can occur or varieties. Mm, pardon me. Anyone uh, have any more questions? All right. Uh, do I need to shut the stream down? I may have to. Uh, not a lot of people in here, but anyway, um, okay, so if I shut this stream down, you can always go back and watch it, so uh, if nobody has any more questions, I should probably shut it down. Any more questions? Um, oh, just for the record, for anybody who's in here, uh, I'm going to take a break from going to other people's streams for a while, uh, unless they specifically tell me they, you know what, they come to their stream or, or I'm welcome or whatever. I'm taking a little bit of a break. So, uh, yeah. But I'll be back. All right. Um... All right, I guess I'm going to shut this thing down. I hope you all have a wonderful night. Please like, comment, subscribe, you know, all of that good stuff. And I will see you all next week. And I hope that I have some really cool stuff to show you. And I hope I can get my, uh, my microscope is no longer working again. It's just something silly. So... I've got to get working again. So I will do that. And then we can do maybe an auction next week or maybe the week after. And the giveaways. The Cherry Pickers Guide. And the uh, membership to the a and Also, y'all, uh, someone picked up for me second session. Similar, similar at the book sale. A, uh, okay, DMV, uh, do you want me to email that to you? Hey, Mike, we're just, uh, I was telling him about Summer Seminar and how to get a scholarship, and now we're discussing, uh, when everybody gets set, when they, I'm going to get a cartridge. That cartridge is on its way. And then I'll have everybody's coins to them. And then I'll have some more coins for sale. I've got a nice little list of stuff that I obtained recently. And it's kind of higher, uh, not higher end, but it's different stuff. It's, uh, you know, quarter clip. There's a, a double strike Jefferson. And uh, 
There's an, a 99% off center weak scent. And you can tell it's a weak scent because you can just barely see the weak stock. Uh, I should. Let me go into my PayPal. I think it's in my PayPal. Um, let me log in there real quick. PayPal. Da -da -da. <laughs> All right. So. Yours would be one that I did not refund because I'm, uh, oh, um, I think I see it right now, uh, yeah. Yeah, it starts with DMV. I'm going to try not to reveal it. But yes, it starts with DMV, right? I'll send you a list of everything that I have so far. I've also got some leftover stuff that I hadn't sold. Uh, I can probably send you that list too. I've got all kinds of stuff. And I'm looking to get more actually. All right. Well, that sounds good. I'll, uh, I'll definitely shoot you that email. It won't take me long. I'm just going to copy and paste. Um, and um, I'm trying to think. I know what I paid, and I may have to just. What you may be able to do is just shoot me an offer, and I can tell you, you know, where I can go from there, if that makes sense. That said, I don't have. Uh, you might want to wait a while because I don't have the coins yet. They met. They were mailed off today. Yeah, they were. They were mailed off today, so I won't get them for like. A few days, uh, but I will. You want me to wait until? How about this? Why don't I wait until I get them and then email you? Would that would that mean uh, make more sense? Because all I have right now is the list and what I paid for them, but I've never seen them. And this way, maybe I could take some photos. Man, my phone does not want to charge. It's crazy. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds real good. I don't want to cause any confusion. Um, yeah, that sounds good to me. All right. Anybody else have anything to say or uh, any questions? If not, I will get off here. Uh, really, really appreciate everybody that's shown up. If you would, hit that like button. Uh, I've got someone that's been, well, at least one person that's been uh, hitting the down button, the thumbs down button, the dislike button. So... <laughs> You know, I don't know what I can do about that. Not much, really, unless I know who it is. But I'm not worried about it. It's been going on a while, and I don't, you know, I just don't need to. That's all right. All right, guys. Well, good night. I'm going to head out here, too, and y'all have a wonderful night. 
it's still pretty early, so we can all kind of finish enjoying the rest of our evening, which I hope you all do. Y'all have a great evening, and I will see you next Monday if you want to show up, which I would really appreciate. So, see you then. <laughs> if I don't, if I, <clears throat> if I don't choke to death, I will see you then. Bye.